morning, everyone, or rather it's afternoon, it's 12 o'clock. This is Bahia from On The Purple Couch in Kensington. I'm really happy to have you guys here. We're doing our Facebook Live. I'm gonna talk a little bit so that people can uh, sign on to their Facebook accounts. We did give a little bit of a heads up. Anyway, I'm gonna be talking today about painting kitchen cabinets. So, how to refresh your old kitchen cabinets and make them new and give them life using Annie Sloan chalk paint. This is the after, this is the before. We're gonna paint and we're going to uh, wax and I'm gonna do some distressing and show you how to make your bland blah cabinet, this is a cabinet draw, give it some new life and make it look like these, okay? Um, my trusted assistant, Jamila, is holding the camera. So I'm gonna be talking to her, you guys know how I do videos, I'm really relaxed and chill and I'm gonna be talking to her, point this, do that, whatever. Um, while we're waiting for people to come on, and Jamila can see when people come on, we're gonna do a quick review of what I have on the table. And these are some of the things you're gonna need in your arsenal or in your repertoire, if you will, um, as you prepare to do your chalk paint um, product uh, for your kitchen. First and foremost, you're gonna need Annie Sloan chalk paint. Please do not ask me if you can buy chalk paint at any other big box stores or you bought this chalk paint etc. It is Annie Sloan chalk paint. It is sold at small retailers all over the world and I'm very proud uh, to be five years uh, with the Annie Sloan and the Unfolded Company based here and made in the USA. Okay, so again you're watching Bahia on the purple couch in Kensington. I'm going to repeat that just in case people come in. I have my color chart. Jamila, I just need you to uh, zoom in on that. My color chart you'll find at the shop here in Kensington. I have all of Annie Sloan's colors the color chart is actual paint. It's not a photocopy, okay? So you have that explanation of your colors. Colors is where we often all get kind of stuck on. I have my paint. I have my waxes, my Annie Sloan clear wax. I have dark wax, black wax, and white wax. I'm not gonna show you all those um, in this first one. My wax brush, essential tool. I'm gonna sit down, sorry. Essential tool for you to have, and this is my Annie Sloan brush, okay? Jamila, if you can get this, this is Annie's new book, Paint Everything, awesome book. She is a prolific writer. Um, I think she should be at book number 40. Um, a lot of projects. This is my white cloth. If you guys have been in the shop, you know that I'm like, if you don't buy anything, you need this white cloth for your waxing. We have put together some tip sheets for you. Chalk paint wax. We'll take a quick look at that. Not so close, just quick and then a supply checklist, and then sort of a prospectus on what we do. This is my picture with me and Annie. And the things you can get here at the shop. Um, a little bit of propaganda, but that's what it is. Chalk paint is over here and your colors are here. Okay, Jamila, do we have people on? Okay, we're gonna get started. I am using, and Jamila, you're just gonna uh, zoom in. It says Old White. Jamila, just come in a little bit close. The color I'm using is mixed Old White and Pure White. Okay, thank you very much. That's a one-to-one, -one. that's one of our favorite colors. When you get your kitchen cabinets, right, they're old and you're gonna figure out, okay, can I paint them? I wanna give you some inspiration. This is what my cabinets look like and I would transform them to look like this. In this example, I'm gonna be using a kitchen drawer that looks nice and shabby and worn out. You're gonna clean your kitchen cabinet very well and then you're going to paint. I'm using my Annie Sloan brush, dipping it in paint, loading off, taking some off, and then in a very nice brisk action, brisk action, I'm going to paint my cabinets. There are different styles. You can do a modern technique where you're gonna be doing nice and straight and pretty. My mind doesn't work like that, so you guys know if you've been in here, you know I'm a little crazy, I can't do that. I'm using Annie's famous method, which is a crisscross technique. I'm doing this pretty quick. This is live Facebook, so that's what it is. I've cleaned my piece. I've done it really well, my kitchen cabinet. Now I'm ready to go in. I've painted one coat, my old white, pure white mix. Bam, I'm setting that aside to dry. Yes, it looks like this. I'm going to need a couple of more coats of the my pure white, old white mix. All right, this is just an inspiration video, so we're moving pretty quick. Now. What is that beautiful finish? What do you do once you've painted? I'm gonna paint about two or three coats of my color mix, and then I'm gonna get my Annie Sloan wax, my wax brush, dance my brush around in the wax, sweep it down. 
over my piece. Notice what I'm not doing. Okay, this is my beautiful Annie Sloan brush. I'm gonna wash it with Liquid Dawn dishwashing soap. I brush my wax on. My lint free rags. I hope I'm not talking so quickly. I'm gonna use that. And one of my good friends just walked in so I can tell her to hush. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe off the wax. Jamila, can you get that? I'm wiping off the wax. What I'm not doing, let me take off all the wax. I'm not doing that. I'm just lightly taking off the wax. I'll show that action again. Brushing on my wax, wiping off. Everybody wants to know if chalk paint is a durable finish. I always say this, chalk paint and the chalk paint wax, which goes together, is a durable finish if you have done it appropriately. You can always come into our shop or any of the other Annie Sloan stockists around the world and check in with them and they can show you how to do that. Once I've brushed on my wax, wiped it off, I'm taking my sand block and I'm lightly going to distress, very lightly. You guys know I'm not into the rustic country look, but I don't want my piece to look like brand spanking new. So I'm just lightly taking off the edges. I hope I'm not talking so fast. If anybody has a question, hit the questions. Jamila will read them out to me. Very lightly, using my cloth once again, I'm going to wipe off. Once you brush your wax on and wipe it off, you really want to wait 15 to 20 minutes for the wax and piece to set. Once it's done that, you come back and buff. Turn my rag over and in this buffing action. Yes, I'm moving quick. It's a quick Facebook Live inspiration. Essentially, that's what you're doing. Here's my piece. I've used Paris Gray. I didn't have to use that in this. I could have done dark wax, clear wax. I could have white wax, excuse me. I could have distressed heavily. I could have put a wash on it, crackle. There's so many different techniques I could have used to complete this. But this is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like now. Chalk paint, in its own chalk paint, and its own wax, my wax brush, brushed it on, wiped it off, and then buffed. I'm gonna ask Jamila to come over here and show you our kitchen display that we have in the shop. Jamila, you wanna come right over, you got it? This one is a piece, a kitchen that we did, kitchen cabinet that's an old white. Lightly distressed, a lot of texture. This was a job that maybe took about three or four quarts of paint and wax for about $300 on average, you got yourself a new kitchen, okay? This is another one. This is my pure white, pure white Annie Sloan chalk paint. Cleaned off my piece, washed it well, got my color. I just wanted pure white. Painted about three coats, lightly distressed. Brand spanking new kitchen, new knots. <clears throat> oh, let me show you this one. This is a popular one. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is olive and a wash of Florence and dark wax and wax. So this gets a little bit more complicated. Not complicated, just a little more steps that you can make your kitchen a little bit more into what you want. So I first actually layered uh, Florence, then I did olive, clear wax, distressed it on this side. On this side, Florence, one coat, another coat of olive, clear wax, dark wax, and a little bit of gold gilding wax. I always distress a little bit around just so that my piece doesn't look brand spanking new. And <clears throat> this is my before, ta-da, this is my after. So with the Today Show um, blog where they showed the kitchen cabinet yesterday, I was very excited and I wanted to show you all what we can do for you here at On the Purple Couch located in Kensington. We are right off Connecticut Avenue, right off the Beltway, the Chevy Chase Kensington exit and then you just hang up to the historic district. We are located at 10513 Metropolitan Avenue in Kensington, open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5.30. Holler at us, come and stop by, feel out the furniture, see all the things we have here. I'm gonna ask Jamila to do a quick pan of the shop, just real quick, so you can see if you haven't been in the shop, what we do here. It is really an inspirational space. We hope to achieve that. People have said that, so I'm not just making that up. Um, and we have our color chart. Those are two tables I'm working quickly for somebody. But Jamila's gonna come back over a little bit more quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Here I am. 
I want to thank you for the opportunity to show you how to refresh your kitchen cabinets using Annie Sloan chalk paint. For about three or four quarts, about three quarts we've shown you right here, you can finish with wax, you can do a standard American size kitchen. Each quart covers 150 square feet. Using any Sloan chalk paint and wax, you can get yourself a new kitchen for under, I would say under $400, okay? I hope to see you in the shop. I hope you like the video, share the video. 10513 Metropolitan Avenue, Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5.30. We're open online 24 seven on thepurplecouch.com. Many of you guys know I'm on Facebook all the time, also on Instagram, and also come on the shop. Let me give you the phone number, 301-896-0010. I am very grateful that you tuned in. Thank you, Jamila, for holding the phone. And we'll see you uh, sometime today or over the weeks. And holler at us if you have any questions. This is Bahia. Thank you.